So we're at the St. Thomas train station um, and we are up in the rafters area. Now up in this area uh, there have been, this area is actually relatively newly built. Um, this area would have just been empty unused space up until the abandonment of the building. Tag. Uh, train in the background ironically is it a ghost train it could be a ghost train now there's st thomas is uh for the people watching that are not from the area st thomas is actually a major railway town uh, a lot of railway stations do pass through the area here so this facility was a uh, was a major trade hub for uh, Southwestern Ontario. This was dubbed the railway capital of Canada, I believe it was, is what the poster downstairs claims. The other big story about St. Thomas is this is where uh, P.T. Barnum uh, had the accident with Jumbo the Elephant just down the road, or just down the tracks apparently. Um, Jumbo, I think, was one of the largest elephants in captivity at the time and he was struck and killed by a train um, and I think that made a huge impact on on how animals are handled in uh, circuses and so on from that point. So enough rambling about the place. This is a good hiding spot for anything that wants to get away from the human aspect that goes on downstairs. If there is anyone up here with us, can you make yourself known? So now we're on the opposite side of the We're on the opposite building. side, yeah. Uh, we are above the dormitory area. So if there's anybody up here with us, we invite you to join us. Feel free to show yourself to us if you aren't so shy. We are up in... Well, it's super dark up here, so... Yeah, it's extremely dark up here. If you can show us some kind of light, if you can manifest as some type of energy, maybe we'll be able to see you. Show us some kind of light, if you can manifest as some type of energy, maybe we'll be able to see you. Show us some kind of light, if you can manifest as some type of energy, maybe we'll be able to see you. Can you make a noise for us? <clears throat> There's a lot of pillars and wood beams and venting systems that you can use. All right, so we are in St. Thomas, Ontario at the Queso Station, a uh, very historical landmark for St. Thomas. Uh, built and started building in 1871 and finished in 1873 and was uh, in this town before the town was even a town. 
Uh, St. Thomas didn't become a city until 1888, I want to say. Um, pretty major building. I don't know the square footage of it, but it's massive. Um, it was uh, ran until 1964, we were told, and uh, sat abandoned for how many years, whenever they took it over? Until 2003. So 2003. Um, it's in amazing condition for the age of the building. And uh, yeah, the rank were probably the first team to investigate the actual museum station. Uh, there's another building that way, this way, yep. that way, behind here, somewhere yeah. around, that actually holds the locomotives and the, and the trains and the, the cabooses and all the relics from the past. Uh, that's the train museum. We're in the train station museum. So I will ask if anybody is with us tonight uh, to please come join us in this very large dining area. Well, there are many uh, claims over the 160 plus years of this building, so we don't really know what to expect tonight. If anything, my hearing's not all that great, so it'll have to be my ears as well. Okay. Did you hear anything over there, Nick? I heard something shuffling behind yeah. me. If you're back there with us, come over here and join us. Were you a passenger? Anybody stuck here waiting for the next train to come in? Didn't you have friends or someone that had stories from here? Yeah. Yeah, they had everything happen. Tools disappearing and they'd see full-bodied apparitions and the lights would be flickering and like their floodlights and stuff were working at night. And They'd hear footsteps. And... I heard that. Something behind me. Okay, two lips. Yeah, yeah, it did go up to yellow at one point. People that came in here, and the amount of dignitaries, and the amount of, uh, I would imagine, prime ministers and, and governors that would have passed through here from going from, say, Toronto down to Chicago, down to wherever they were traveling to. So the amount of history that's in this one building, even in this one room, is just staggering. If you're out in the hallway, can you make a noise for me? Oh, you know what? It is wood. Yeah, it is wood right there. It sounded like heels. Those are spiking. Really? Like that? Yeah. Did you hear that, Nikki? It's kind of the odd time it hits the water. Hits the oh, is it? Because you can hear it periodically. Oh, okay. It's like it hits a different spot. Thank you for your logic. <laughs> but this is the second floor up now. Yes. We were in the rafters, we moved down one floor. Yes. And up along in here would have been um, accounting offices and uh, 
various other uh, clerk offices. I do find it uh, um, difficult to that people would haunt places where they used to work unless they were specifically caretakers of the site. Um, Burger King's must be rampant. Oh, exactly. Exactly. When I die, I don't want to go back to work. <laughs> <laughs> well, there are like uh, there's like a hat over here. That yeah, are, there's there's artifacts here that so um, maybe one of these items belong to you if you're here with us. Can you tell us which item belongs to you? So we have moved up into the rafters of the building. Um, I said earlier, I didn't think we'd be, I didn't even know this would even existed. So I don't know claim wise what's going on up here, but we'll, uh, if there's anybody up here with us, other than the three of us, can you come over to the sound of my voice? Very quiet up here. We move down just a little bit farther. We're not going to go all the way to the end. It's too treacherous ducking in and out. It's quite a bit colder where we are. From uh, It's about 8 degrees colder than it was, I don't know, 50 feet that way. Yeah. So I'm not, Mike doesn't have a sweater on, so I'm not going to keep him over there for <laughs> too long. Is there anybody up here with us? You can move around back there if you'd like. This is really your only opportunity to speak to us, even if it's through this recorder. We're not going to spend a whole lot of time up here. It's too loud and it's too cold. All right, so Mike and I are back up in the suite area. The Alma Suite. The Alma Suite. Used to be the dorm rooms for the, for the maids There's, at the Alma yeah. College. So if there's anybody here that wants to Make contact with us, let us know you're here. We have the audio recorder running. So you can yell and scream and holler all you want, and hopefully we'll be able to hear you. Tell everybody how handsome Mike is. <laughs> or, I have this device in my hand. Hopefully you can make it change colors. I'll let us know you're here. Did you hear that? I did hear that. Was that over there? Yeah. I heard that earlier, yeah. Are you hiding over here? Bryce said it was probably the fridge. Oh yeah, you know what? It probably is. Well, okay. I don't plan on it. Yep, that's what it was. It was the fridge. Debunked. Debunked. I'd really love to walk away from here with something, some type of evidence to show that you're here, or something's here. Was that you? Nope. You didn't just on oh, the floor? I like this. I heard okay. that. It was, I felt it was a footstep on the floor. Yeah. Yeah, like, like that. that. I thought that was you. Was that you? Nope. Was that you? Nope. Are you stomping on the floor? Are you trying to let us know you're here? Can you do that again? Keep trying. Definitely felt like a stomp though. Yeah, it felt like a stomp close to me yeah. on the floor. That was again. Yeah. That was over there, over that way this time. Are you moving around us? I get that feeling. <laughs> also, we're sorry if you feel we invaded your space. If you were trying by stomping on the floor or making some other noises, we appreciate that very greatly. All right, so we have moved down into the basement. Uh, we're just kind of ending our night down here as a group. 
So we're gonna we're not gonna stand too close to the huge electrical panel back there with any type of meters. Except for Bryce. Except for Bryce. Except for you. He, he doesn't mind. <laughs> so if there's anybody down here with us, can you join us in this room? If there's anything you'd like to say, go ahead and say it now. Lots of dripping and yeah. popping and Oh my god. Oh my god, did you hear that? Ghost oh my god. Dude Who's a ghost. Oh my god. Dude, run. I think it's a ghost Yes. <laughs> it's a it's a ghost whistle. I'm feeling the presence of it. That was the old time whistle. Yep. <laughs> the vision of the conductor down here. Yes. The old timey gentleman waiting for his uh, husband to come home. Yeah. <laughs> that was. <laughs> I heard that, but I didn't. The table actually went. Did it move? Yeah. And I wasn't moving. No, well, nobody. We were over here. Yeah. As soon as the camera, you had the camera on, didn't you? No, of course not. Oh, I saw the I saw the screen on. Oh, gee, you saw the table moving too, right? I heard it. Oh, gee, I heard it. I thought I thought no, somebody I, had bumped into it. I turned around and the table was on this. Mon Dieu, Collis. Mon Dieu. No, there, there's no. I bumped into it when I walked in. Yeah. No, I heard it. It shook. Yeah, I'm trying it. to bang it in the end. Yeah. yeah, I heard that too, and I thought that was Mike doing something over nope. here. That was weird. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I heard it. You saw it? Yeah, the table was going back and forth. It was shaking back and forth. Weird. It always happens at the end of the night. As soon as you shut the cameras off. Yep. You know, you know, I turn my recorder off, and they'll... Nothing fell. No. That's how it was moving, but like when you bumped it, I don't I think it would have to bump pretty hard, hard to get it under there. Yeah. yeah, like I bumped into it to, deliberately. It takes quite a bit of force to you know, know when you bumped into it. That's it's slowly coming out. That's exactly well, what it did. Yeah, somebody I bet you that's Austin. what happened. Austin now, too No, Mike, it was demons. Yes, it was everybody. <laughs> it was the conductor waiting for his husband. That's right. <laughs> or something. I don't know. My signals are getting crossed. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. It's like from upstairs. I'm like, oh my god, I'm hearing footsteps out in the hallway. And Nikki's like, no, it's just water dripping. My damn buzzkill over there. Yeah. <laughs> good. But hey. Oh, I know. No, it's you know, we're not those that kind of team. I know. I know. To jump at that, that oh my god! Oh my god. <laughs> we well, tried to figure out what that was. Though. Exactly. We tried to figure. I didn't think I hit it that hard. Like hard enough to, because when I came in here, I just kind of went, whoa! Just kind of bumped into it. Mm. Well, I can see the outline where it was. So that's that's where it was. So if I bumped into it hard enough to join it. And it would have stayed there for a while, just like that. Mm-hmm. And it did take a few, like a minute or two. Yeah. You can see it moving. Yeah, it's more slow. It hits as hard as... Yeah. Yep, there we go. Okay. And you can see it's probably not... Uh, it's, it is scuffed up here. Yeah. And here, so... I don't think you're the only one that did that. Good. 